So I was just suspended from Instagram and I wanted to talk about that. I had um, 86,000 followers as of this week and it was growing pretty fast this last week. Um, it's too bad because I just did a, a giveaway for a, a skull, giveaway for this life-size skull. So people had commented, they'd participated in the giveaway, did everything that I asked. And now I can't even see the post and the comments and the to be able to choose like the person that won and, and send them this. So it's not a victimless crime other than me. The follower, you know, there was going to be somebody that, that got this. Maybe if my account gets reinstated, I'll be able to continue with it. But I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, just doesn't feel right. And so I wanted to make a video. Usually I don't make videos today, but it happened today. So I wanted to give my initial thoughts. I started my in Instagram just to force myself to be consistent with creating artwork. I'm an artist and sculptor. And so I just said, you know what, I'm going to be consistent. Keep me going, keep me producing. And that's what it was. And it was like five years ago, six years ago that I started it. And it took me a long time to get the first, you know, thousand subscribers. And, and then it's just been slowly building it ever since. And it's interesting because just last week I did a video that was talking about content creator rights. And if we have any right to the audience that we build on these big platforms, and my position was that, yeah, we, we should have some right to the audience that we build. For me, what it feels like is it feels like that, that Instagram or these big platforms, that the way that they're running right now is they're like, here, come, come to our platform. It's like a plot of land. We'll say Instagram's a plot of land. And you, you can come, we'll give you some building materials, and then you can build something here. You can build an audience. And by building something, you'll help build our platform because there'll be people that are interested in it and you can build something for yourself. And it's like I spent the last five years working part-time building this audience, putting content, you know, over like 2,400 posts or something like that. And, and so trying to post regularly and create content that people are interested in and that's helpful for people that are interested in sculpture and art. And then one day they just come with a bulldozer and they just say, like, we, we, you build this on our platform so we get to bulldoze it and there's nothing you can do about it because it's our platform there's just something that it just feels deeply wrong that they have the ability to steal something from you that you spent years building that audience that you spent years building without some sort of legal process to go through at the guidelines community guidelines the thing is i was no i wasn't notified there's no email it would just said your account is suspended the process has been weird to try to to try to get it back i tried to appeal it and they said well we need to confirm your identity so here's a code we'll send to your email i responded to that then they said we're going to text you a number code um, just to confirm it's you and then they they never sent it they never sent a code and so i said well resend it they never sent it and then resend it and they said oh you've tried too many times too many codes you can't do anything for 24 hours so it's just stuff like that and it just feels so shady just deeply unfair that the platform that I have helped build in a small way, I mean, I, it's not like I built the platform, the platform was built by other people, but every content creator is helping to build the platform because without the content creators, there would be no reason for the audience to go to that platform. So it's like I, it's like you're saying, yeah, I'll, I'll help you build on your land that's, that's Instagram. I'll help you build something. And I spent five years building a little modest cabin that that you know that followers were interested in there was some content that people liked to see and then they just come and can bulldoze it because of some appeal to like oh you're it's like misinformation or i don't even know what it was i i do work with a figure and and sometimes i post uh sculptures that are undraped so it's their nude sculptures but in the the content where it de describes what you can post. It says you can post images of sculptures that are that are nude. So no matter how I look at it, I don't see a justification for suspending my account. And they didn't give a justification. And I feel like the, the attitude is kind of like, well, we don't have to justify what we're doing. We're powerful. We can silence you. There's nothing you can do about it. And it just feels deeply unfair. And I am, I'm a conservative. I'm a Christian. I'm not shy about my beliefs. And I, I would share those every once in a while. I'm also skeptical and I, and I like to ask questions, government shutdowns and things like that, that there's been a lot of questions. 
and and being able to just say like hey do we actually know that this is going to help like do we actually know what the data is on this new um, medication or do we actually know what the long-term effects are going to be of this policy or or things like that and just being able to ask questions and now you just ask questions and it's like oh that's misinformation and it's like well how can a question be misinformation but that's even beside the point like even if i just believed something that was false even if i was maybe Maybe I was convinced of something that was false. Maybe I was, I was convinced um, to, and I posted something that wasn't actually true. If I believed that it was true and I thought that I was sharing good information and just raising questions about it, I think that should be okay. Like the Overton window has gotten so small that we can't even fit the truth through it anymore. They didn't even say why I was suspended, but I suspect it has something to do with that because that's the justification that they're using to, to do a bunch of stuff. Openly Christian, openly pro-life, it's hard to believe that those beliefs don't have something to do with the reason that I was suspended. I don't know why I'm making this video. I guess I just feel like there needs to be some sort of shift in the culture if we're gonna, if we're going to be a free people, especially in America. America is supposed to be the beacon of freedom, and we have these companies that started in America that are starting to turn into totalitarian sources of power that that just shut are able to shut people up. And the thing is, the way they do it is so they say, you know what, we want to use our right of freedom of speech as a company to shut you up. We want to use our freedom of speech to make sure that you cannot communicate with your audience on our platform. And I get it. It's a complicated issue. They build the platform. I didn't build Instagram. I don't have any ownership in it. But I feel like the audience that I built, that I should have some ownership in that. Like, shouldn't content creators have some ownership of what they built? And I say that as somebody that's very conservative, very pro free market capitalism. Before capitalism comes the ability to say what you believe to be true. And there are certain things that if we allow will destroy the system that gave us free market capitalism. And I think one of those things is allowing people to to censor the truth. And it gets especially dangerous when you're censoring something that's true. And you can say, you know what, that may be true, but it's offensive. So you can't say it. That might be true, but these experts say that it's not true so you can't say it and i don't know if i'll get the account back i don't know what's going to happen with that if it's a temporary suspension or if it's permanent I just feel in the dark i just wanted to make this video just to just to vent i guess and just say like this it doesn't feel right what these companies can do there needs there should be a legal process that they have to follow to take away that the the work that i did over the last five years I don't want to start over. I don't want to start over from scratch trying to build an audience. And it's like, what's the competitor to Instagram? Instagram was great because it's very visual. And I appreciated that about it. And as an artist, it's like, what's the what's the competitor? If you're banned off of Instagram and Facebook and and then Google YouTube, if, if those companies have deemed you unworthy to participate on their platform, then where is there to, to turn to? Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think content creators have any right to their to the audience they build on these platforms? Or do the platforms, should the platforms have this much power to cut the legs out from people that helped them build their platforms? Just doesn't seem right to me. That's all. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll go I'll try to go through the appeal process and see what happens there. If anybody has any suggestions, could use the advice if anybody's gone through something similar. Okay. Thanks for watching.